meters squared per second squared divided by 9.8 meters per second squared, which gives me whatever that is. It seems like at the start that you don't have enough information, right? It seems like they should have to tell you what, what at least what R is, right? And maybe also what the mass is, but no. We don't need to know either to solve this problem. If we can do something called algebra. 0 0.9184. Now that, that's H. So if you don't if you don't think the question's asking for H, how do we find D? You like psi, trigonometry. Let's see here. So like 15 degrees, yeah, and so what, what trigonometric function are we looking for here? Oh, I, I like sine. Sine's a good choice. Sine of 15 degrees is what? It is equal to the opposite side, which is H, over the hypotenuse, which is D. So solve for what you're interested in here, which is D, is equal to H over sine 15. But we know H, and we know how to calculate sine, so we're good to go. Whoa, whoa, 45 times the square root of 6 plus 45 times the square root of 2 divided by 49 is not the answer I want to give. All right, 3.54, 3 point, sometimes this calculator is too smart for its own good. 3.548 meters, there you go. Oh, and what was the follow-up question? Time. How long does it take? For the hoop to do what? Go up and down. How do we? How on earth are we going to figure that out? Hmm. my Did I put my phone down somewhere or is it Yeah It's probably hiding somewhere in plain sight. I mean, if I left it in my office, that's fine. But if I leave it here, after I brought it here, you know, it's no, no fun. So what do you guys think? I need to figure out the time. How will we figure out the time it takes for it to get to the top? Why is it stopping? Gravity. So, yeah. Um, hmm. Well, I mean, okay, fine. We'll try that. So, um, the, um, thinking of it as a point particle, is that, Man, is that the right way to think about it? Maybe I should think about torque. 
What's the what's the torque on the hoop due to gravity? All right. So if I think about where, where does oh man, where to think about gravity acting on the. I don't know, guys, unless I'm, unless I'm forgetting something really stupid here, I think I should rule out that part of the problem since I'm stuck on it at the moment. It seems unreasonable to ask you. Now, caveat, I must go talk to Dr. Dinsmore. And if it's something simple that I'm just being boneheaded about, it's back in. So look for an announcement about that. Would you tell us how to do it then? Yeah, of course. Oh, I, was like, I mean... Yeah, I mean, if it's if it's something relatively simple that I'm just being an idiot about at the moment. Anybody know how to do it? Anybody got the right answer in here? Anybody? Ah, hmm, interesting. See, I bet Dr. Scambordis will solve it then because now it's a challenge, right? No one can solve it. Now it's exciting. Right. All right, guys, but remember, collisions and energy conservation, linear or, translate, or linear or rotational, right? It's all in this test. See you guys Thursday. Thanks. I will send an announcement out with the topics that you guys can vote on. All right, so that'll be in the test, too. Choose your own adventure for the rest of the course. Mm -hmm. That's the only subject on testing.